All right, we've got a rock that breaks loose from the top of a tall cliff, and we want to know what its average speed is during the first two seconds of fall. So find the speed of the rock when t equals 2. So a couple of things that's, that are going on here. Number one, we've got um, a rock falling off a cliff, so I'm just going to draw a picture here. This is going to be very generic, and here's my rock right here, and we're going to give it a push, so we're back here like this. We're going to push the rock off, and it's going to fall over the cliff. And it's going to go down, down, down. Well, this is at t equals 0. We're here. And t equals 2 is down here, so we're going to have time. The other thing that we're looking at is height. So, like, so if I start here and stop here, this would be, like, height. We'll put that in red. Okay, height. So, what we're wanting to do is is determine what's the speed of the rock uh, after it's fallen for two seconds. So go back to physics class and you'll recall that when you're looking at um, gravity on Earth, uh, you have a kind of a generic equation of 16t squared. Now, this would be negative 16t squared. We're falling, but we just want to know how far we went. We're not necessarily concerned with, you know, like exactly how high or or whatever right now. We just need a total distance, okay, like an absolute value. And so when you do that, what we need is change in y divided by change in time. This will give you an average. In other words, if you can take where you stop minus where you start and divide that by the time that you stop minus the time that you start, you're going to get an average. So how does this look for our particular problem? Well, our function is t squared. So we need to know our stop time is when t equals 2. Our start time is when t equals 0. Our time on the bottom, we stop at 2. We start at 0. And so when we set this bad boy up, what we're going to end up with is 16 times 2 squared minus 16 times 0. On the bottom, we're going to have 2 seconds minus 0 seconds. So 16 times 4 minus 0 over 2, okay? And this is going to equal 32 feet, that's how far we fell on the top, divided by seconds, which is how long we lasted on the bottom. So this guy right here, this guy, is our average speed.